Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have one of our favorites, not just because of the contents but also because of the copy. It is of course Desk Stash which is a fabulous office supply desk accessory stationery box that is sent to me for review on a quarterly basis and I love it so much. So this is the box this time around. It literally just came to me in my mailbox a couple of hours ago and I was really excited because I was hoping that it would make this particular filming day so that I could post it as soon as possible so that you too can get your hot little hands on it. This box is $45 per quarter plus shipping. I believe the shipping to me here in California is around $10, maybe a little bit more than that. I do have an affiliate link and code for you where you can save 15%. It is just Noelle 15, but as always, I will leave all of that information for you in the description box below. Sometimes you have to click the little dot, sometimes you have to click a little down arrow, but it should expand that description box so that you can find it but you can always ask me of course in the comments below and I do try to put that information for you into the pinned first comment as well I don't always get around to doing that but I try so I think like 95% of the time you can also find that important information right there in that pinned first comment unless one of you left a really really good comment that I feel like needs to be pinned instead which does happen sometimes all right so let me go ahead and open this up there's none of the fluffy shred I'm so sad they used to have this like kind of like Easter basket dark blue shred that was always really fun but I guess everything's just fine in here. We do have of course our product card that tell us all about the items in the eight days a week edition. So the last time I did a desk stash unboxing you guys I totally slaughtered the name of the box and the theme and I thought there was like some baseball illusion that I was completely missing and it was just me not reading the words correctly. So I'm gonna make sure and double check it says eight days a week edition and it's even kind of in a Beatles font so I kind of figured that that's that's the illusion here. Also just it's sometimes we all wish that we had an eighth day in the week either for an extra weekend day or to get those projects done. I know I do. The total retail value on this is $75 so you are definitely getting your money's worth in this box even with the shipping. I'm gonna prop this up in front of me. It looks like we have got seven items this time around. Kind of cute with the little like confetti like tape there that's almost like putting it on there. It's like graph paper post-it notes is what the copy looks like and of course we love the copy for this box because we have come to know and love some of the characters in the mythical desk stash office like Joyce from Billing and Ernie um, from reception I think right I don't know I don't I don't remember Ernie being in there last time so but I'm pretty sure Ernie's from reception all right as long as we don't have to deal with anyone from HR right that's <laughs> one of the hardest jobs I'm very glad that very few of the jobs that I have include in our HR uh, department. Retro pens. One of the things that you will find if you go ahead and binge watch a bunch of my desk stash, desk stash unboxings, which you absolutely should, is Desk Stash has a kind of a retro vibe, kind of a vintage vibe sometimes. Definitely a very design forward aesthetic in terms of giving us items that you would find in like museum design shops and also a whimsical side to it too. So that's why this box is so fun because it makes the work that we do, whether you are remote, hybrid or an in-office worker, a little bit more delightful with retro vibes, really cool chic design vibes and of course some whimsy as well. So here are some retro pens from Kikerland. Love the colors. I feel like these would all be great colors on a VW camper van, right? Um, so this is, what does it say? These 1960s inspired retro pens will swankify any desk. That is a good word, swankify. Joyce from Billing puts one of these behind her ear and barks out orders to Ernie at reception. Ah, they've already both made an appearance in the first item. Um, those pens do not make you my superior, he huffed. These pens are giving you a Napoleon complex, he said as he swiped a handful of them. <laughs> Uh, well, hopefully they don't make him sh make her shorter, too. All right, let's see. Oh, come on. Come on. I just wanted to get them open, but I'm probably taking photographs, so that's why I have to be a little ginger with my opening of the items. All right, so, ooh, what? These are just such soothing colors. I need these colors to come back into Vogue. Aren't those great? They would also make great VW bus colors like especially this yellow and gray one grayish like a taupey color this green and cream one very cool and 
satisfying click. We love the satisfying click. I'm not a ball pen girl usually, but if I were, I would be using these. Let's see. So I just recently, for one of my one of my jobs, we have sort of like avatars, and we all been doing like Funko pops, and so my Funko pop, because I'm an editor, of course, has a giant red pen. So I'll go with the green pen. I think that makes me look more official, right? Yeah, okay. Let's keep going. Let's see. Ooh, there's a big box inside the box. So we always like to go with that. It's an inkwell pot. That's like real retro. I don't know if I need like a calligraphy pen and inkwell pot. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. It says, oh, this is actually the first item in the box. Oh, goodness. It's so hard. What is this? Oh, oh. Mm. I kind of wish it was a candle. Kind of looks like it should have been a candle in its first iteration. Ooh, I like it. Ink pen pot. It's it doesn't have the ink in it though. Look at it. It's like this nice heavy glass, and it says finest quality. Suck UK. Does it really say that? <laughs> ink. Okay, I think that's actually what it says. Suck. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. That's what it says. Let's actually embossed on there. Oh, I like this side. It just says ink in really big letters. See it? It's hard to see. I'm going to have to like fill it with something so that we can see it. I don't know what I'll fill it with. Choice from Billy and used to fill hers with candies and fancy pens, but now it's for keeping change for the vending machines. You still have vending machines that use change? Last week, Ernie at reception had to park at a meter on the street. Later, Joyce accused him of stealing her quarters. They had quite a fight. That is still a little analog life. I feel like most parking meters now have like the card option. Thank goodness, because who still has quarters? I, I still have quarters. I have quarters in my car, I do. That's great though. I would totally use this for loose change. Um, you could definitely use it as a pen holder, honestly. You could use it for all kinds of things. My husband's really into candle making. He could probably make a sweet candle out of this. I think it's very cute, very like writerly. I'm feeling very writerly with the pen behind my ear. I used to rock a pen or a pencil behind my ear a lot when I was younger. All right. I feel like Dan and the writer heard us because last time we were like, more, more Joyce, more Ernie, and now they're like everywhere. What is this? <laughs> it's from Full Circle, which I usually think of as a like, oh, Control-Alt-Clean instead of Control-Alt-Delete, like, I know, Mac users are like, what? What's that? I'm like, what's the flower button? Come on. Um, control Alt Clean, three in one electronics cleaning set. Keyboard, brush, detail nib, and microfiber screen cloth. Perfect size for desktop or drawer. Bamboo, certified recycled plastic, microfiber, plastic free packaging. Okay. All right. I don't know that I'm going to take it off of the board yet. Here's the microfiber on the other side. You can see it. All right, use and care, wipe clean with warm soapy water, machine washable microfiber, ooh, that's good. Here's the brush, see it's like pointy, but it's actually a brush. And then this is like a little nib to get into little corners and get stuff out, but it's like a, like a silicone. So hopefully, it almost looks like a highlighter pen, like the tip of it almost looks like a highlighter. Can you guys see that? There you go. All right, let's read about it. Control Alt Clean, this three-in-one electronics cleaning set has a soft brush to sweep away keyboard schmutz I use all kinds of things. I use a compressed air thing. I use uh, one of those sticky blobby things that I also got from Death Stash. Um, but a brush is probably a little safer. It says a crevice tool, crevasse, for tricky edges and a microfiber cloth as a handy screen cleaner. That I was just doing that today because uh, I have a touch screen on my laptop and so all the time. There, it's gross when you see it from a certain angle. <laughs> Ernie at Receptions Workspace is ridden with mystery detritus, donut crumbs mostly, but this item whisks it all away by 5 p.m. Yeah, keep your space clean, Ernie. No donuts at the front desk unless you're going to share with everybody. Hopefully he shares. All right, let's see. What else have we got? Um, not that. Ooh, this is not what I expected. Finger Fred. Fred fingerprint... I'm still like marveling over that saying, suck UK, finest quality ink. Suck -uck? Um, Fred fingerprint, a handy bookmark. Oh, and then it's like in French. Un signe pratique, un marcador de pagina practico. I don't know. Oh, it's like a rubber band bookmark kind of thing. All right, so it says, I thought it was actually gonna be like a fingerprint. It says, Joyce from Billing, <laughs> it's all Joyce and Ernie now. 
Joyce from Billion has decided to read all of the classics, starting with War and Peace, but she can't get past chapter one without falling asleep on her keyboard. The bookmark is flexible enough to stretch around all 1,352 pages of Joyce's dog-eared copy, pointing to where she left off. So look how it works. It's just this nice stretchy thing. And you just, it's got like a little extra stretch to it because see, it's pretty stretchy. It's like a fancy rubber band, but a really sturdy one. And then you just make it point to where it needs to point to. Sorry. So that you even remember where you are on the page. That's a good one. Especially if you're going to like read a passage the way that I do for a lot of our book subscription boxes, this could be very handy. I like it. It's cute. All right. Um, and it will like, kind of just like, then the book will just like fall open to the page that you left it at. Great. All right. Toasty notes. Well, that sounds cozy, doesn't it? Hmm. Authentic mustard toasty notes. Since 2007. Original recipe sticky notes. I like this. I'm excited about this. Um, I like sticky notes. I like big sticky notes and I like things to be toasty. Toasty roasty. Says, though the average professional receives 11 messages on sticky notes each day. Yeah, if I worked in an office... There would be a lot of sticky notes. Um, there's just something about writing it down. Joyce from Billings daily usage surpasses that. Joyce keeps a stack of these toasty notes on a plate on her desk. They're so cute. It looks like toast. Hoping someone will try to take a bite. She's offered toast to everybody. No one's fallen for it yet, but it does kind of look like a slice of toast. Like it's like the right size. Look, they're so cute. I love a good printed toast and I like a big one too. So you could actually, write something on there. Hopefully it writes well, but it does feel like pretty porous. Like it doesn't feel too glossy, the printing on there. I feel, I, I like want it to smell like toast. You guys, let's have a secret password while we're at it. So when you come across a secret password in one of my videos, you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below. Please, please, please do not put the secret password into the comments because then I have to delete your comment because you've ruined it for everybody. I'm kidding. Please don't put it into the comments. Uh, I know that's how they do it on other channels. That's not how we do it here. Use the Google form. You have to be 18 years or older. You have to be subscribed to my channel and you have to have a US or Canadian mailing address. About five days into the following month, I will use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive a mystery box from yours truly as my way of saying thank you so much for watching my videos and listening to this spiel every time that there is a secret password. Uh, let's see, do I have to tell you anything else? It is not affiliated with YouTube or any other boxes that I open here on the channel. I feel like I could do one of those drug commercials, right? So the secret password for today is going to be toasty. Toasty. Toasty roasty. Toasty. T-O-A-S-T-Y. Toasty. All right. Oh, this one says gym today. No, no. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> I'm trying to walk more. I'm trying to be indoors less. It's like kill two birds with one stone. Get some exercise. Be outside, right? Uh, what's this? Oh, so we have some thermos paper clips. I'm confused. Oh, they're paper clips that look like thermoses. Thermi. Thermoses. Designs by Desto exclusively for House of Dorimus. Hmm. 12 thermos paper clips. Again, kind of retro vibes, right? I love fun shaped paper clips. It's like I don't honestly have much use for paper clips. Sometimes I use them as like. Sometimes I use them as bookmarks. Sometimes I do clip things together. It's kind of got like a plaid um, plaid vibe because there's red and black ones. I'm assuming that we got six of each. So this is the inspiration is this like plaid thermos, the old school kind where the lid was the cup. But we have a little red one. Can you see it? And we have a little black one. Ta-da! I'm gonna have fun photographing these. They'll be tricky to, to show, but like I can make earrings out of them. Little thermos earrings. This box makes me happy. Have you noticed? So little thermos earrings, there are, what did I say, 12 of them? What does it say? It opens from the bottom, so yes, 12 thermos paper clips. It says, these retro style paper clips have achieved the juxtaposition of thermos and paper clip just right. And you can make little paper clip thermos chains out of them. Uh, we have a limited supply on hand, meaning no freebies for Ernie from reception. He was feeding the meter when they arrived and he missed the boat. Darn it. But Joyce got some Ernie wind. Mm hmm That's what happens. Ooh. See, I told you I would drop one. That was like a magic trick. All right. Don't worry. Ooh, you could put paper clips in this ink. Well, that would be pretty cool too. 
I like the change. Change in the inkwell would be good. I like that idea. We have one more item. Lots of items in this box in the eight days a week edition. Although, don't we feel like there should have been eight items in the eight days a week edition? Maybe? I don't know. <sighs> Resketch. It's a desk pad. Hmm. Got graph paper lines on it. The manufacturer of this nifty desk pad curates and sorts high quality 100% reclaimed paper and turns it into high end pad. Ernie at reception keeps his near at hand, near at hand. It's where he collects copious notes for his new novel about drama in the workplace. Take it up with corporate. He's planning to self publish. Oh, I got to take this band off so you guys can see all the fun colors. Um, but again, might be taking photos, so got to keep it nice and neat. Oh, I don't know. It's, it doesn't want to wiggle off. Let's see. Ugh. Ugh. Maybe, can you guys see? Fun colors. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to ruin it. Oh, it's like old school, old school graph paper. But is it attached? Yes. So you can actually use it as a notepad, but you could also use it as, like, I like it when a notepad is like this size because you can use it as a mouse pad if you still have a mouse pad and you don't just use like the little red button um, or the mouse pad on your laptop. I use both. I don't use the little red button that much. That's telling you what kind of computer I have. Are you in the know? Are you a control alt delete person? Are you a PC or a Mac user? Tell me the truth. I am a hybrid user, so there. All right, so now you know all of my dirty little office secrets. We have our inkwell pot. Tell me in the comments below, what would you put in your inkwell pot? We have retro pens. We got four of them. I'm gonna keep them in various places, apparently. Control-Alt-Clean, still really, really cute name for our cleaning pen that's just gonna go into my desk like junk drawer and then I'm probably gonna use it every day like I do with all the other things because I really like having a clean keyboard and my keyboard just doesn't stay clean. Like it doesn't matter. I don't even eat at my desk and it's never clean. Toasty notes. Okay, toasty notes might be my favorite because I think they're pretty darn cute. Uh, thermos paper clips, very chic, very cool, red and black, we likey. And the resketch desk pad. I do like a grid notepad just because sometimes I make my own little mini calendars or little like quadrants if I'm doing some like, I don't know, information architecture. I don't know. I just, I like graph paper. It looks cool and you can kind of keep things looking neater when you're taking notes. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all enjoyed seeing this green pen behind my ear the whole time. Sorry about that. It's an accessory as well as a writing utensil. I really enjoyed this box, the eight days a week edition from Desk Stash, which is currently shipping. So if you go ahead and order this for yourself or a loved one or a colleague that you would just like them to be a little bit cooler in the office, this would probably go a long way in that direction. Uh, this is what you would be getting. If you got to this point in the video and you missed it, there was a secret password. So you wanna go back and find that. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.